Neil, firstly, if we could talk about that win at Bedford, how much of an emotional roller coaster was that game for you? Oh, it was uh, it was um, qu- quite a big one. Um, you know, to go twenty two nil down um, in the first twenty minutes, but then with thirteen and fourteen men on the pitch to manage the game through for the next uh, ten minutes, fifteen minutes up to half time was fantastic, and to get back into it at twenty two ten at half time. The boys had so much belief in the changing room that they could uh, come back and do it. Um, we got ahead again, and then uh, and then we had to come back again after Bedford uh, showed a, a little strong run at the end. Uh, but it was nice to see us get over get over the line. And hats off to Dalveen and Dal kicking the uh, the conversion right at the end. Um, in, you know, that, hats off to him. It was a fantastic kick, and, and what good bottle. And after three wins on a row. Um, how much was the week off welcomed, or were you worried about maybe losing your momentum from those three games? Um, you know, it's always it's always a, a well needed rest. What was good um, about the lads is they they had things to do while they were off. They went away and did them, freshened up, um, came back in this mor- uh, yesterday morning, this morning, and had, had really had a good look at the Elin in terms of doing their analysis. Um, had, Coming in good physical shape with the uh, the sessions that um, the S and C coaches have set for them over the period, um, so we could really hit the ground running today um, and yesterday, nice and fresh and, and ready to go. Uh, the amount of injuries you've had so far this season has been well documented. Is there light at the end of the tunnel? Are we seeing players coming back now? Um, certainly, you know we've got a few guys back on the pitch, and there's a few selection headaches, especially around the uh, around the pack. Um, you know we're still. Uh, lighter one or two bodies in the back line um, but look we don't want to use that as an excuse we just want to keep going um, and keep trying to play the brand of rugby we saw for for 40 50 minutes at Bedford you know some of the best uh, rugby we've seen this season in, in that period we hit a real nice purple patch and the lads just trusted the system trusted each other trusted themselves to perform and just how important is this Friday's home game against Ealing in terms of staying up there towards the top end of the table you know, all all the championship games this year are, are, are vitally important. So, you know, we've approached this one as as a, as a big game, but it's the next game, and that's why it's the biggest. Um, we, you know, we need to make sure we're looking after things week in, week out in terms of what we do on the training pitch, what we do off the training pitch in terms of our analysis, um, our S and C, um, making sure we're ready to perform, and then going out on the pitch and, and putting out that um, that game plan at Lady Bay at home.